What's up, boys? Back with some more Zaya. Going to try and farm an absolute ton of gold and XP here. She deals damage whenever pulling XP or gold through enemies. So you can farm and also get damage off of it at the same time. And you also gain some bonus haste. And I guess that's the only thing, plus the feathers for extra damage once you get a certain number of them. So for weapons, we are looking for the Annihilator. When that kills, enemies will drop extra XP and sometimes gold. And also the Evolved Train sometimes drops gold on kills. This does work with crits, and the train does as well, so Battle Bunny is quite good. Also pierces enemies when it crits, so one of the best AoE weapons in the game. We need pickup for the evolution on the wing daggers. Then every time I use my E, I also get bonus pickup radius on top of dealing a ton of damage. So we definitely need XP and damage locked in. Let's go ahead and grab that. Tibbers is duration. That goes with damage. And I might not be going super projectile heavy with the two AoE base things, so honestly that might work. Not even sure if I want to take the bonus projectiles passive with the weird sort of farming thing I'm doing. Looks like about 3 by default on the basic attack, but that's at level 1 and sometimes they get more. but I'm mainly curious in what we get from the augments since those have probably the biggest impact on a run. Ideally, we get the chance to drop gold for every enemy on kill, but if there's nothing decent, I might end up going for something projectile based here. We can take a battle bunny level. Health pickup scrant, one health regen. I don't think health pickups even work with that, it's just gold and XP. So yeah, we have one of the big scalers. Since I'm not going projectile based, this makes a lot more sense here. And I'll probably want the movement speed passive to go with that, if I have room for it. Having pickup and radius, I mean, pickup radius and XP makes that a lot tighter to actually take other passives. Let's grab the XP so that it'll be easier to max out the build, I think. So I have to have movement and damage. Movement to scale that up more and damage to evolve the weapons. I don't think there's anything super required now. I do want Annihilator as my last weapon. Damage, there we go. Nope. Ability haste is decent. Maybe not the best now that my meta progression is getting pretty high, but it does feel nice. Yeah, 173, that might not be super useful actually. Annihilator, there we go.
we want this one to get the gold dropping from it. Now in Cancrits, also scales with armor. Let's keep leveling the dagger, I think. Yeah, the projectiles do go up. Oops. I was standing too close to that as it spawns. Should always be on the edge, just in case you get one of the bosses. Especially the stag guy, he will instantly headbutt you and knock you flying for a big chunk of damage. If you're close to the middle, we do need that for the evolve and the train damage. Oh, movements. Yeah, I do want that for the permanent scaling. And between these, if I can get that evolve, that will give me a bit more XP. We're going super greedy here. can evolve that, or I could reroll for movement or XP. Eh, I should probably have at least one evolve. Special dagger will bounce from enemy to enemy, dealing damage and then granting a shield. See, for area, I think it's just the mine and the annihilator. But we will get a bunch of that from the cross country ramping up. Still mainly looking for the gold on kill to get a ton of meta here. I guess we'll finish that one off now. One percent movement for every two haste. That's not bad. And it also does ramp that up faster. Unfortunately that's not the gold on kill, although it does combo with it. Annihilator.
let's finish that off for the full cross country ramping. Five. Now we have a weapon that generates cold on kill when it kills them. On kill when it kills them, you know. Oh yeah, the movement speed's actually kind of nice with Zaya's passive, since she gains a bunch of ability haste, so that gives me even more movement speed. Let's try and get the last level on the Annihilator here, so that we have both drop generation weapons ready, drop increased XP, and a chance to drop gold. Bounces endlessly as long as it has a target. Uh, do we need anything else? No, it's basically just damage at this point. So I'll grab the pickup radius, might help me get a little bit extra XP or gold. There's the one that's super important, gold on death. May as well take it, although it's not going to do a ton at this point. It'll 
still make my damage pretty insane with the passive, but just won't be a lot of time to actually farm the gold. Ten thousand gold and still going, and you can do a lot better with the gold augment earlier on. Try and grab this misfortune in case that has gold on kill. Nope, just big shield. But the one that gives gold gives a ton of gold as well. We can still handle some bosses pretty easily with the ramped up cross country, but that's doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. So 12.6 thousand gold. Pretty good augments, but not completely optimal, so you can't do better than that. You can get the Annihilator evolved a bit earlier as well but not too shabby. What's up boys, back with some more farming Zaya. We get damage based on gold and XP pickups, and then once you get a bunch of them, you'll get ability haste for a while after that. Most likely looking for the Evolved Train and the Annihilator to generate even more pickups. So we're probably not going projectile based. Although the main weapon does work with it and it's pretty good. 
but some of the most important weapons don't since I'm just trying to get as much gold as possible. I don't think I want any of these. Layments would work. It's not terrible, but I can do better. Transit, there we go. Um, they're okay. Pick up radius, we need that for the main weapon. Oh yeah, I guess I don't really need to be spam clicking around right now. I had some matches with the cross-country augment where you want to be moving as much as possible. Annihilator, there we go. Sea mine was pretty decent. I guess I'll take that again. Cross country with haste bite size. I mean, for the first augment, this will have the most impact. This can potentially be cool with some other stuff, but I think I'm just going to take the massive raw power here. So we definitely want movement speed as a passive. Nope. Movement speed, there we go. So, damage, we need that for the train. More XP so we can max the build up faster. haste even though it's not super impactful now honestly as I get closer and closer to maxing out the anima power now there might come a point where I just don't even want ability ace anymore since it's such a small increase now need that on Zaya. She gets plenty of pickup naturally with her E giving a ton and having to take it for the evolution anyways. Might be interesting to have Yumi bought on a Leona build where you're stacking health pickups though. There's an augment that gives you permanent health regen with those. But I think you would need like at least two specific augments to try and do that. And sometimes even getting just one is a huge pain, so that would be rough. Would be very cool if you could pull it off though. Uh, 
Uh, the bat blades are pretty good, but we can also ramp up cross-country cross faster. That's a pretty tiny area. Thankfully, there's no circle there. Uh, let's go the XP, I think, first. Ring's actually pretty good as well. Might just grab that. Let's grab the dagger here. XP, but the greed, or dagger. I think I will just finish that off so we actually have one decent weapon. Although they're kind of camping the card right now. I might get blown up there. Thankfully it's easier to control Zaya here, I had to do this quest with a massive movement speed ribbon and it was kinda hard when you jump like half a screen away on every attack. Movement speed, sure. But with that specific combo, that plus cross country, I'm actually glad I do have the ability ace because it adds some extra scaling to it. But without those two, I don't think it would be that good. We're at 197, that's probably with the Zaya passive. That one can give some extra XP, so I might go for that first. If they're both pretty close.
Got the train ready for extra gold whenever that kills something. Plus some bonus backup. Annihilator ready as well for bonus gold and XP when that kills. country The gold one? We did it! Gold misfortune buff. gonna ult out of here, kind of in a corner with a lot of the death puddles from the frogs. Maybe pretty dangerous to try and dodge everything on the screen. Oh, that gives a bit of movement speed with the elephant. critical. That would work on the enema and the mine. This would occasionally give movement speed and haste, which are pretty helpful. They're both pretty close. Neither is amazing, I think, but they're fine. Juicy Annihilator. Here comes the Annihilator again. Massive XP and goals. Got the Crossblade Evo. Mine is one level away. The Annihilator is actually kind of nuts on this wave. It's actually a bit hard to push through them, so it gets a ton of guaranteed kills.
then we get a bit of extra cross country with a massive speed out here. We have it about 9.6 thousand with very little extra gold just the one M misfortune buff but no augment to boost that and it's still pretty solid a few more levels into anima power and we're actually getting kind of close to the max looks like level 100 will be the max but the more you have the easier it is to farm as well so it speeds up a little bit. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.